Hello, and welcome to this little discourse. I haven't done one of these in a while, but recently I picked up my copy of the Bhavad Gita and I was really, really inspired by what I read. And I've been sharing this in my privates and probably in class this week. And you never know who needs to hear these words. And so I'm going to read the verses from the Bhavad Gita and then I'll just have a little chat afterwards. So you can carry on with whatever you're doing or you can close down your eyes maybe take a shavasana so we're reading from chapter two the Bhavad Gita, and it says you have the right to work but never to the fruit of work you should never engage in action for the sake of reward and nor should you long for inaction perform work in this world arjuna as a man established within himself without selfish attachments and alike in success and defeat for yoga is perfect evenness of mind. Seek refuge in the attitude of detachment and you will amass the wealth of spiritual awareness. Those who are motivated only by desire for the fruits of action are miserable for they are constantly anxious about the results of what they do. When consciousness is unified, however, all vain anxiety is left behind. There is no cause for worry, whether things go well or ill. Therefore, devote yourself to the disciplines of yoga, for yoga is skill in action. The wise unify their consciousness and abandon attachments to the fruit of action, which binds a person to continual rebirth. Thus they attain a state beyond all evil. Thus yoga is achieved. When your mind has overcome the confusion of duality, you will attain the state of holy indifference to things you hear and things you have heard. When you are unmoved by the confusion of ideas and your mind is completely united in deep samadhi, you will attain the state of perfect yoga. So what's being said here, um, which is where Krishna is talking to Arjuna on the, on the battlefield, once he's, you know, he's really confused on his life path and he doesn't know where to go. And Krishna is, is telling him to, or telling us, to, to let go of our desires, which is very similar to what the Buddhist teaches when he, you know, the Buddhist teaching is all about letting go of, of the sense craving. And he says, let go of, of what you expect in your life. Because those expectations that we are creating in our mind create anxiety, they create fear, they create worry, which is taking you away from this even, even, evenness of mind, which, you know, he says here, yoga is perfect evenness of mind. It is the equality of the gunas, which we'll talk about another time or in my teacher training, if you come. Um, and so he says, when you let go of your efforts, you will find this peace when you just trust the process. And this is also very similar to Patan, Patanjali's yoga um, and where he teaches that yoga is abhyasa and varagya. It's to have this continuous effort on the path to show up every single day, to be disciplined, but then to completely surrender to, to the expectations of your results. So having a goal uh, and working the best that you can every day towards your goal, but then completely let go into the universe, into spirit, into God, into love, into trust, whatever resonates for you. And, and when we do that, when we can really surrender, um, we lose that anxiety that we cling to about the having expectations. And interestingly, my, uh, my affirmation of the week was once you think you've surrendered, surrender a little bit more. Um, I hope that you find a way to apply that into any experience that you're going through at the moment, any anxiety, any fear, any worry, um, just let go and trust the process. If you look back at any experience in your life, it's always made sense in the end. And, you know, when you're in your physical practice and when you're feeling resistance and when you try and push that resistance away, it only makes it worse. But when you take a deep breath, and you just let the resistance be there without trying to fight it, this beautiful thing happens and it, and it kind of dissolves and it opens up for you.
So I hope that's inspired you and I hope it brings a little bit of something, something to your day. Thanks for listening. <laughs>